Good morning. Welcome to Grammar Time. My name is Mr. Sam. Today we are going to be discussing about present tense. Before we move on, I want us to look at what we have been discussing previously. We've discussed about verb tense, and I said that verb tense is all about the timing of an action or instead of being um, in a sentence tenses is all talking about the timing of an action and we have about three of them the past tense the present and the future tense but today our focus will be on the present tense so what is present tense a present tense is a verb tense that describes a current activity or state of being. So a present tense gives us detailed understanding about actions that is current, that happens now or that happens regularly or a state of being of a thing or of a person and here we have examples my parrot sings the sun has got its heart on every morning now this is a current action or a current activity that is that goes on and we become happy instead of being you know here someone is saying I am happy He's happy, meaning that that is who he is or what he is at that particular time. That is his current state of being. Do you understand it? The current state of being. It could be a past uh, state of his being if he says, I was happy. But here he said, I'm happy, meaning that it is current. It is happening at the time or it happens at the time. I'm happy. Now, every tense has at least four steps or four progressions. Or if we put it very correctly, every tense has four types. Now, the first here is simple present tense. And the second is... Uh, present continuous tense but before we move on to that here we have some examples of the current state and the state of being the current activities and the current state of being here it says lisa runs home after school lisa runs home after school sarah is arguing with her sister that is an activity that happens. Lisa runs home after school. It happens every time that she closes school. Sarah is arguing with her sister. That's an action that is currently happening at the time. But when we move forward, we are going to understand the difference between Lisa runs home after school and Sarah is arguing with her sister why is it not uh, you know the same format then here we have current state of being Toby is angry today that is his state of being that is how he is at that time he's angry today maybe yesterday he was happy but today he's angry Alan seems confused at that particular time he sings confused here is uh, a past participle but our major focus is those ones that are marked with a yellow color since that is the present state of being or current state of being of Allen so we move forward so the present tense is categorized further depending on whether the action is in progress or completed call the aspect of a verb so now let's look at what we mean by that 
Oh, yes. I told you we have four present tenses. The first one is simple present tense. Present continuous, which is also known as the present progressive or progressive present tense. And then present perfect tense. Then present perfect continuous tense. But first off, let's go back. See, the present tense is categorized further depending on whether the action is in progress, is in progress or completed. Now, a progressive action is what we know as the continuous tenses. So here today, we are looking at the four present tenses, but today we are going to discuss only two, the simple present tense and the present continuous tense. So next week, we are going to look at the present perfect tense and present perfect continuous tense. Let's go on and understand very correctly. A simple present tense is not used to talk about ongoing actions. Please, I want you to listen. It's not used to talk about ongoing action. An ongoing action is an action that is happening at the moment. Right now. It means that the action is now happening in my presence. Mr. Sam is teaching. That is what is going on now. So, a simple present tense is not used for an action that is ongoing or occurring in the present time. In, in the present time, other present tense forms are used for that. Instead, the simple form is used to do what? Express facts. Facts. Something that is factual. General statements of truth. A general statement of truth, take for instance, the sun rises from the east, is a general statement of truth and is also a factual thing and common sense ideas that everybody knows. Fish lives in water, <laughs> you know, that is a common, uh, or, or, or a, a, a common uh, 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 sense ideas. Everybody knows that, that that fish lives in water. So this is what a simple present tense explains. It's not about an ongoing action. You know, when we say simple present tense, we think it's all about something that is going on now. No, 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 no. It's all about to express facts, general statements of truth, and a common sense ideas that everybody knows. Two, to state habits customs, an event that happened periodically. If you remember, I gave you an example, Lisa runs home after school. That is something that she does habitually. It is an action that has become a custom for her to run home after what? School. So, it is something that, you know, we use present, a simple present tense to capture. Number three, we use simple present tense to describe future plans and events. Interesting. We use simple present tense to tell jokes, stories, and relate sporting events in real time. Now, we look at present progressive or present continuous. So, this tense is used to describe an action that is ongoing at the current or oh, huh, This is the one that is used for that. It is formed with a variant of the verb to be and the present participle form of verb, which is the verb that ends in ing. What is verb to be? Verb to be is those verbs like is, am, um, was, um, sorry, is, are, am, um, uh, I think these three verbs, uh, where, if it is plural, um, um, which other one? Uh, I think these, these these verbs. So we use the verb to be the variant of it, depending on if it is plural or singular, to talk about them. And uh, the present participle, the present participle form of verb is known as the gerund. Those ones that end with ing, when the root word or the root verb adds an ing, like take for instance sleep is the root word, 
ing added becomes sleeping. So if I say, I am sleeping, we are sleeping, these are continuous form of the verb or of the tense. Sorry, this verb form, this verb form can also be used with time adverbs to talk about an activity that is continuing in some future time. Additionally, present progressive verb forms are most commonly going to be found in the word using dynamic verb that describe one, an activity. Uh, let's look at the other one. Activity, a process, a bodily sensation, a transitional event, a momentary occurrence. All right. Now, look at this simple way. It said the tense can be combined with several expressions to indicate the time when an action occurs. Periodically, of course, periods such as every Tuesday, always, usually, twice a month, depending on what. But, but that is not our major focus. Our major focus is on the fact that simple present tense is not an ongoing action does not express an ongoing action, rather it expresses facts, general statement, it states uh, habits, custom, and it describes future play, it tells you, but present continuous tense, which is known as present progressive, gives us information about or tells us about actions that is ongoing at the current time. All right, so here are some examples that we need to have. For simple present, I usually wake up at 6 a.m. So this is a habitual action or a habitual thing that goes on. He plays cricket, but his brother plays football. This is something that goes on every time. Earth is bigger than Mercury, a general statement of knowledge of facts. Or something that we know the heat of the sun reaches the least to the polar you get it now then the present continuous tense here are the examples i'm going to the college field so this is an action that is ongoing he is coming here for some tips they are making a basketball ground why are you working in that horrible place? This is for interpretive statement. Four teams are playing at this moment. So these are examples. So I'm going to ask you to do some evaluation. So you're going to do these evaluation. Let me see how well you understood what we have said. So please do this and submit tomorrow. I'm going to write inside your English notebook and it will be awesome. Write five sentences each for simple present tense and present continuous. That means you have to write five for simple present tense and five for present continuous tense, making it together ten. So give me five sentences that represent simple present tense and five sentences that represent present continuous tense. It's going to be wonderful. When we discuss more about the perfect tenses, the present perfect tense and the present perfect continuous, we're going to understand something much more better. Thank you for listening. God bless you.